Hey everyone, so um, today I'm going to be talking about um, what's been going on recently. I'm currently um, 16 days post-op, so two weeks and two days. And in the past two to three, I think three days now, um, I've been in a lot of pain and I've been um, really, really nauseous. And I just wanted to spread awareness about this because um, I don't think a lot of people talk about this much. One of the reasons that I got top surgery, there were, there were a lot of reasons why, of course, um, but one of the reasons was because binding was just very, very painful. Um, it wasn't really painful when I started, um, but it was really painful towards the end. And um, I'm not sure if I talked about this on here yet, but um, it got to the point where I had to go to the emergency room because of how much pain I was in. And when I, when I say that, um, I wasn't binding when I went to the emergency room. It was, um, the reason why I went was because I binded for um, a day and a little longer than what I should have, of course. But I binded in a day, for one day and uh, my body was used to not binding for a while because I, um, um, the binding was painful, so I would rather only bind when I really needed to, and most of the time I was at home. So this one time, I was out with family, so I wanted to bind because I felt more comfortable, and I wore it for the day. <clears throat> and um, that night, I woke up in immense amount of pain. The pain was right here. Right where your ribs are right yeah it's right here all the way around to my back and to like the middle of my back um, i just felt someone was like squeezing like had like a rope and was pulling but the pain wouldn't stop um it was constant um i wasn't binding when i was sleeping like when i woke up in the pain i wasn't binding and so it just felt like I was binding all the time, but I didn't have a binder on. I tried Tylenol, I tried everything, it just was not working. I tried like a heat compress, it wasn't working. I tried um, everything. And um, the only thing that the doctors could give me at the hospital was like a shot of some painkillers and like that only took a little bit of the pain away, it made it manageable. Fast forward, um, it only happened a couple times after, I think once or twice it happened again, um, and then I was finally able to get top surgery. Um, and a couple days ago, the pain started happening again. And the nausea as well, I forgot to say before that I was throwing up like crazy because that was the only thing that could relieve the uh, pain that I was in, to an extent. So now I have to wear this post-op binder. It's a little too low right now. I should readjust it, but I have to wear this post-op binder and I have to wear it 24-7, um, at least till next week. And I talked to my surgeon and whatever and told them what was happening. And they said that I can take the binder off for at most two hours. Like I can't go over the two hour mark. Um, and then I have to put it back on. But yeah, I just, I know this video is very like whatever. I've been up since like five something in the morning. I'm very tired. I am in pain, kind of. I'm in a little bit nauseous. Um, I've been through a lot the past couple of days. I've barely been able to eat everything. Everything that I've eaten, I've thrown up, except for Subway yesterday, because I told myself I was not gonna throw that up. But yeah, I just wanted to spread some awareness about binding and how important it is to bind safely, bind at the only, like, the only duration of time you're supposed to, which it changes. I don't know what it is. I think it's eight hours. Some people say six. Some people say ten. I don't know what it is. But just bind safely. Be nice to yourself, okay? I know how hard it is. You're, you're probably like... Oh yeah, Josh, whatever. You have top surgery, you're on testosterone, whatever. Like, you don't understand how I feel. I was there, all right, dude. 
I understand what you're going through, okay? Maybe not everything you're going through, of course, because we all go through different experiences and feel things differently and things manifest in different ways, whatever. To an extent, I feel how you feel about binding and how uncomfortable you feel when um, you don't have that binder on and you're around other people or just in general, you don't feel comfortable. I was kind of able to not bind when I wasn't around people because I felt, um, ne not necessarily that I felt comfortable, but I was like weighing the pros and cons and I was like, I'd rather not be in chronic pain for the rest of my life, even after surgery, because that's something that a lot of people don't talk about is that you can have chronic pain and get get chronic pain from binding too much or doing it in the wrong ways. Yeah, I just wanted to come on here and be like, to all you trans guys or people who are binding, individuals, non-binary, genderqueer, gender fluid, wherever you fit on the spectrum, if you bind, even for cosplay, if you bind, please bind safely. It is not worth it, alright? Because for the past two to three days, I have been in immense amount of pain and nausea like crazy. I threw up everything again, except for the subway that I ate, but just, and like I had some breakfast this morning. <sighs> but please, 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 bind safely, okay? Because it will bite you in the ass. Just wanted to thank you guys so much for the support. The last couple of videos have been doing really well, and I really appreciate it. And to all the new people who have subscribed, thank you. I think we're at uh, 593, so almost to 600, which is amazing. I am wanting to have a couple um, videos coming out soon. I have a lot planned. Um, I'll have like my monthly post up videos coming up every month, of course. I'm getting two tattoos next Tuesday, so there will be a video on that. It'll be my first. Um, it'll be my first tattoos, which will be great. I'm so excited, and I'm scared because pain. And um, there's a, been an announcement video that I've been wanting to make for a while. There's something I've been wanting to tell you guys, but I um, haven't been able to tell you because every time I've been wanting to make the video. I've made it, and then I've scrapped it, I've made it, and then I was getting top surgery, so I delayed the video, and now I want to remake it, so, um, stay tuned for an announcement, um, some of my close friends know, um, but, yeah, most of my family doesn't even know, um, my close family knows, but yeah, stay tuned for that, alright, thank you guys so much for watching, have a good day.